good morning from Audeville behind the Pampoon Fontaine launch. This is some behind the scenes footage of what we actually do before we fly. It's a bit of a hike because this road is quite intense as you can see. You get a good 4x4 four four to get up here. There's the Amigos all walking. We've got Nick's driving for us today. Liam from Canada. Burns from Cape Town and Christian who I fly with quite a bit also from Cape Town we're just going to walk up it's about 10 o'clock 10 15 somewhere around there it's a little bit light for takeoff generally a good takeoff at portable is like 11 that's when your thermals are smashing and you can get up just cruise up the ridge but um, two guys have gone off already that's Burnt and Bob's and they look like they were Working some light lift. Yeah. Yeah, I have a Brad behind us here as well. That's Brad. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> lekker, lekker, lekker. We're on a perch here in front of the launch, watching this bad boy right in front of us, checking on the cycles now. This is a teaching of a Swiss pilot, Bernie, Bernie Hertz very experienced so um, basically you got to stand here and just feel out the day don't just run here set up and take off stand up here for a bit get your mind in the game feel the cycles there's a cycle coming through now it's quite light it's not very energetic you can feel that but then it'll go into a lull and then the next cycle will come through and you try and get a gauge of the timing between the cycles and you feel how that changes gets faster and faster that time between the cycles gets smaller and that's how you know the day is getting very strong and with portable that happens quite quickly it exponentially just gets quicker 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 and then it's just blown out sort of thing so you've got to try and get it in a nice middle spot over there looking out here to the launch we've got guys that's Vota pulling up about to take off there he goes uh, forward penetration I think he's taking the maybe still in the cycle here. Yeah? He goes. Hey, good luck. See you in space. That was a nice one. He's good. That's what you want. You want to be able to take off and go straight up. Black man. That was good. 15 pilots on launch today. It's forecast to be a brilliant day. Low wind, high base of 2,000, maybe higher if we're lucky. We're going to fly up the valley that direction to the north over into and go into the Citrustal Valley and go towards Clan William which is always a beautiful flight probably one of my favorite flights of this area I think that's Sean Holiday taking off there I might be wrong awesome man and might as well follow my amiga let's go for it send it And up we go! It's Lekka, man. Nice call, Christian. On the good um, cycle there. Now I'm gonna go straight to this mountain over here. And hopefully, you get me up. Christian's definitely got something over there, but this thing usually works. Especially in the middle, on the side, but I can see those boys are getting up. Oh, no. Apparently not so much. Oh, very nice. Beautiful. Actively flying this. Expecting some sort of lift over here somewhere. And I'm a bit low on the ridge. It's a gully, some swallows in the gully. It's very, very, very light. It's 
try and stick it close over here. I think that'll work a bit better. See birds in front of me over here. Ready, active, active. And up we go. So this is the direction I'm going. So I want to turn back into that. and that should get us a good start on our flight so we can just get above this ridge and off we go nicely the ridge is working it is a dream you just fly over here and it goes up there's Liam over there all the way from Canada he was about halfway down the ridge straight into the flats because you don't get enough no lift in the middle of the mountains here straight for the flats and now he's at our altitude over there it must have been a stonker of a thermal because he's just about higher than me now yeah we've got burns behind me and there's Christian just over to the left there. I'm not sure who this amigo is on the chili or that, sorry, that skywalk behind Burns. But yeah, uh, lekker man. It's nice, it's nice. It's cruising out there in the flats. It's, let's go. An inversion over here. I know that because I can see it. If you look in front of me, it's like hazy. And it just sort of gets bumpy and your thermal stops going up and then it gets bumpy. Then you get a bit more lift and it goes bumpy again. And yeah, it uh, can be quite scary, but I mean, this one is quite mild, touch wood. Touch wood. Let's see. But it's buoyant as hell up here. Just got a stonker of a thermal over there, but I had to really spiral that thing up. It's going up at like one and a half in that thing because I was turning so sharp, but it just shot me up to one two, one two eighty. So yeah, I'm glad we go again. Well, yeah, man. Just. I need to wait for the boys. Where's the boys? Burns somewhere over there behind me. Just can't see him. I guess the sun. The sun is there. He's probably right below me. Christian is low over there. He's getting up. He is getting up. And Liam's out there in the flats. We're all sending it down ridge. Yeah, it's beautiful. Look at this view, man. Sure. If I look down there, I'm sure I can see there's Table Mountain in the distance. Far, far, far in the haze over there. I think I can see the sea over there. That must be Langaban, or no, probably not. Looks like wind farms down there. Stunning, man. Stunning. Oh, what a day. This is what it's about. Just stop and look around and enjoy the flight, man. Fantastic. Hells yeah. <laughs> Listen to that! Up we go! Yeah! Yeah, man! That's a lack of thermal. Holy shit, I don't know if you can see that. It's between a. Uh, Four and a five, it goes up to 5.9 sometimes, but it's probably when I'm stabling a bit, stabilizing a bit. Holy shit, and this is the inversion. Oops, uh, it's gonna get bumpy again. Let's go, let's go. Hey, oh yeah, man, <laughs> that was a rocking fucking thermal. Holy shit. <laughs> That sound! Wow! Adrenaline is pumping, man! <laughs> really, it's a core the hell out of that thing, is all. It was quite a rock and roll thermal. Oops, oh, oops, oh, bumpy, bumpy, bumpy. You could probably try and break this inversion here. I think I see paragliders on the far side over there. Probably at about 2.5. Must be VJ and Bob's. Could be flying a lot faster. But Celeste, we 
bit of decline in the gaggle, yeah? Not a race day at all. Hells yeah. It's a good thing. It's an enjoyment day. On that note, I'm not enjoying flying below this inversion, yeah? It's quite bumpy. So I'm just gonna fly on. Hopefully we can get to bumpy up ahead, yeah? Oh shit. Yeah, there it is. It was like you just feel the glider lose its pressure and then all of a sudden it shoots and you got to catch that bad boy catch that bad boy otherwise it's a frontal that's slightly bumpy up ahead there and hopefully that's a comfortable place to uh, bumpy who thinks bumpy is going to be a comfortable place but yeah I'll fly there and then hold up hang out then oh, this is the day's highest so far i think and we're still going up it seems oh jeez like man what the hell you can see the sea down there i think that's elans bay or something like that or something with an e and uh, there's a dude just going over the back there to those back mountains and oh my god he's, he's just flying straight he's not going down at all um and where was that lift that was just in front of us yeah ja brilliant man freaking hell it's starting to get chilly up here as well i need to get my gloves out and um, that means you're breaking through the inversion i believe which is quite thick looking down there to the north up to the north i should say sweet man sweet 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 uh burns is down there i think he's getting he was super high now but as the portable ridge does just flushes you down again um I'm not sure where Liam and Christian are. I assume that's them down there, but you can't really tell from this distance. It must be Christian. Liam is out front in the flats. I'm taking a look for him now. I don't see him anywhere. Oh, and with that, we've gone up 200 meters to 18. If we keep going at this, we'll get to 2k, man. Two grand. I mean, I could easily just shoot back straight back to these big mountains here yeah. and follow a nice long line of mountains just up north, 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 north. Or just follow this one all the way straight over there as well. That'll work. It's options at this altitude. Sweet, now I'm sinking though. All my chatting, I've been sticking out of my thermal. So we put this off and carry on. Cruising, I'm still at 1.5 over here. I was just up at two grand just back over there it was very high and it was getting chilly and here's my amigo Voto over here as he climbing showing me a nice say hey, Ryan there is a thermal over here come to me use my thermal thank you sir I will come here and join you oh it's bumpy 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 that was bumpy as well. oh, coming out of that two grand through the inversion again oh some rock and roll air over there I'm not gonna lie Hey man, it's my amigo. Let's go off the bar. I want to go join him right in his thermal and then just get some good footage as well. I don't know if I've said this already, but it is uh, about 1500 or so. And we just got flushed on the back side of the mountain. So I caught a thermal at about 1 1, just off the back over there. That's kind of drifted me a lot this way. But I seem to be flying a generally buoyant line over here now. So I'm sticking with it. It's just along this road over here. I suspect if I go to the right there, I'll probably get flushed again. I'm sure there's some sort of wave effect of wind coming over these mountains here, right? There'll be a lee side where you get flushed, which I just fucking speed barred through. And now I'm in the more buoyant stuff. I hope. It seems to be like that, so... We're just gonna go in this direction and see what happens, man. Yeah. Oh, damn. That's rock and roll. Oh. Oh. Okay. Camera's off. Okay. We're flying. Uh, it's 2-2 two -two over here. 2-2.50. Two -two oh, my God. It's bumpy. Uh, that inversion again. And I think we're high enough now. My word. It's actually a little bit scary. But holy wow. Look at this view, man. It's pretty ridiculous. Get to just release my brakes because Jesus, it's active up there. Wow, you can see the sea over there. It looks like Langaban, I think. Well, St. Helena's Bay, Pitanosta side. 
can't see Table Mountain, it's a bit hazy for that. Let me just go on full glide over here. I'll slow myself down. 17 to 1 glide ratio, oh my goodness. At 2200. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> yes, suck. Oh, it's a left tuck. Oh. Yeah, it's a little rock and roll at this high. Which is a bit scary. Because the ground is way down there, man. There's Citrus Dell. Town of Citrus Dell. We're just cruising in the flats over here. It's big mountains there, big mountains over there. We are sending it on the flats. We can go and glide again, hopefully. To Bambi. Yeah, man. There's Clan William in the distance there. You can see those like lakes. It's at the end of those lakes where it kind of gets green up top there. But yeah, man. Let me concentrate. What's up? Over here. The game plan. Basically, right now, it's just follow this road. I mean, the, the mountains would be super thermic to go on, but they're also quite a bit bumpier. Um, also, landing options are much more limited on the mountain side. I don't want to get too far to the left here, otherwise, this is, uh, the wind is coming from that direction, the southwest. Uh, so, I'll get Lee from these big buddies over here. So, that's kind of why I'm pointed in this direction, flying up the middle. And I mean, the day is so thermic is that you're highly likely to find thermals on a this glide that I'm on now I'll probably make it to the end of the valley over there and I'm sure I'm gonna find something if I don't find something between here and there I mean wow it's just like horrible luck but I don't really want to find a thermal right now I want to just go and glide and never go down ideally but obviously we will go down but yeah and then after that it's kind of flat ish well, it looks like it's mountains from the roads, but it's quite flat down there. But yeah, the idea is just to fly the flats, man. I think the day is just working so well. I think it will work out. Otherwise, I could cut to the right over there. Go into those big bad boy mountains back there. I can see there's two gliders over there. There was another dude somewhere over here. Probably Vota, I think. Man, ooh wee, it's intense. I think I'm gonna put on my music soon because after flying for what was that? It's almost two hours, one hour fifty-three now. Your your focus starts weaning a little bit, so yeah, I gotta put on the music, calm down, remember to breathe deeply and just relax your body, enjoy yourself, man. It's actually we're doing this for fun, right? So yeah, it is get it's get a bit intense if you're doing it for fun. So yeah, that's my thinking. Alright, let's let's go, let's carry on. Now, 934 meters, and I need a climb. So I'm not going to fly on the green shit over there, because that probably won't work. So we're changing our routes to come more over this brown stuff, and there it is. Small and not that strong, but I think we're going to... I think it'll drift us. Yeah, man. It's not all six meter per second thermals. You got to take the small ones as well. Go with it. It'll probably get stronger as it gets higher up. I think this is from that brown field over there. Considering the wind direction, that's what I was. I was hoping that thing would trigger me a the thermal. Looks like it did. It's just further downwind than I thought. Thought it would be a lot more straight. Either that or it's just below me here. Yeah, let me focus. This is a hard thermal. Fucking thermal. And I can see these white birds over here just going up in front of me. So I figured let's go and see what they're looking at, what they are experiencing. Oh no, he's flapping. He's still going up. Oh shucks. Hope we catch this thing. It's very, very weird. There. They're turning left. Thanks, birds. Oh, shit. Okay, that's good. That's good. That's better than what we had. Definitely, thank you to the birds. Boat is climbing, someone else up there. 
oh shit's falling out this thing what's going on i think that's full down there yeah man this is challenging <laughs> Very rock and roll, probably in the lee of this mountain here as well. Now on Glide, looking at what might be our next climb. Lots of mountains and things are in front of me over here, so I figure the straightest line to where I'm going is literally slightly to my left, but following the road here. So we're just gonna glide and hope for something lacquer. I'm thinking that field up in front of me down there. Down there might be my next climb that's only if I can get there though but my glide ratio is not bad and I'm at 1800 but wow man that thermal I just caught now is intense so the birds are all turning left so I was turning left but I didn't feel like I was getting a nice solid turn it felt, it felt easier to turn right so I switched right oh my god I got the biggest full frontal it felt like I was going into a headwind in that thermal so must be something to it. If the birds are going left, you also go left sort of thing. So as soon as I switched, I got wrecked. It's not fun. Gotcha. Might get a bit rock and roll now as well. This is um, constriction below us. This, um, you can see the whole valley comes to a little point over here. The zoop, which is this little road over here through this little farmland thing. That's what we call a constriction, which is known for um, strong winds and such and such. Well, there's all the wind coming up the valley, constricts in this little gap over here. Mm, hoping that maybe, you because know, it seems to be sinking quite a lot over here. I, don't know how far it. I think that's full, talking on the radio. Good one, I'm going down, yeah. Hopefully, we get over there, get another climb forward one more climb and then we are at clan william i think these big climbs make it so you have to do less climbing right one big one but they're a lot of work my goodness it's a little bit of a boop boop okay camera off focus focus right we are past constriction probably means you're around 65 70 gays or something like that i'm not gonna lie um those uh that rough air over there took it out of me a bit feeling kind of tired and over it and i want glide now and if i were to just glide straight into this field in front of me and land over there although i don't see many trees to chill under i would be super comfortable with that so it would be absolutely fine because i am yeah could really use a, a chill and a beer would be freaking awesome i'm not gonna lie could also smash a beer mm. yeah there's still a fairly long way to clan william there i don't really feel like battling with a shitload of turbulence and stuff i could probably go to this mountain over here on my right and definitely find some lift up that thing Oh yeah, oh yeah, where's our wind? Our wind is definitely south, so we should be in the east side of here. We're landing. Hitting some big sink, which probably means there's a big thermal over here. I suspect it'll just be straight through the thing and then go onto the field behind it there. Oh, there's even some green grass there. Oh, the bumpy, bumpy, bumpy. Even some green grass you could maybe go and sit on like a little oasis. We're going to land at that house there with the nice green grass and maybe get a beer. Uh, yeah man, yeah man, yeah. Aerogliding gliding is hard. It's not about the how far you can fly and how well you can thermal. It's definitely thermals here we can use, but it's also your mind game man. It gets rough and rock and roll. It's a fitness and a focus thing. So you could easily just go up in that. noticing thermaling right is giving me a lot more turbulence than left but I can thermal so much better to the right um, yeah. oh man that's a nice thermal it's not rough yet so we can use that I guess and go a bit further on for the number
numbers, let's do it. Two hours, 50 minutes in now. Oh my God, I just can't go down. That's the one thing, but uh, it'll be cool to get to that field in front of us over there. But yeah, I think this might be our landing down here to the left. Wow, man. I just saw the most massive whirly on that field up there to my left slightly. That was just a warning to say, bro, watch out for them whirlies, man. <laughs> they are here and they are looking to nail us. Yeah, the problem is if I go over here and I don't make this glide to the next field over there, they're not super keen on landing on the tar road. It's not ideal. I shall probably get some lift, so 10 glide could go to a minus 7 freaking sink, which I just had now. Literally, basically falling out the sky. It's a ridiculous, man. Ridiculous. I'm sure these fields will give us some lift. I just want to stick with the road, so when I do inevitably land, it'll just be chill under a tree and get picked up. Whoa! Hello. Speed. Go on glide. 50 k's an hour. Oh, bumpy bumpy. Oh damn. That's... Um, I feel like flying straight through these things gives you more lift than actually turning them. spot up ahead you'll make it I think well let's check the sink now we get off to this nice lifty bits shucks it's hard to judge glides especially on such a buoyant day there's another dude who is just over there he's cruising and there's another guy behind me who's insanely high but I cannot look around because this requires all my focus. Just get it in there, park it in there bro, and we're good. And we're good. A little bit more lift and the sink. Let's go, we'll get the landing. It's out. As expected, you're getting a nice sweet 4 meter per second sink. Naturally, will we make our landing? Which is that green field up ahead of us, just by the side of the tar road where it turns out there. I am not sure. We'll see. We will see. And then I still got to turn around and land downwind. Do I? 35k's trim. Uh, yeah, looks like I'll make my, my landing. That's nice. It's very nice. The landing gear is out. We are ready for it. There are unfortunately not a lot of trees over here to sit under once you land. Come on glider, just keep flying, just keep flying. It's been a good flight. The pro. This is hard, hard work man. Yeah. Checking my speed now to make sure when I do turn around there what's, what's happening. My ground speed. This place can be very confusing with which direction your wind is. out for any whirlies or anything. It's certainly thermic over here. They are actively flying this mofo. Some serious, some serious active flying we're trying to do here. We are pumping, we are moving fast. 40 k's an hour. Oh and there's sink. Let it shoot. This looks like a rooibos field or something. It's a, a line over there, a telephone line. So I think up this road over here, run it up the road, and then you can jump over the fence, which is maybe I should go land there. That looks like a good option. Assuming I can stick it. Hey! Getting some toots. Uh, entertaining a local at least. This is quite a tight landing.
Over the bushes, bro. Over the bushes. 30k's an hour. That was a fast landing. Oh, on the bushes as always. But at least I landed in the nice road over here. Woo. This is Achenbach's Kral. Whatever that is. Last we are safe on the ground. I can legit use a bit of a chill, man. Sure. That was intense. The battery's at 27%, so you can play some music. BJ, where are you now, BJ? Relax in the shade and be like a man. Yeah. Ooh, so, came up with the grand idea to shoot a little bit of a debriefing video because I never kind of do that stuff. I just sort of fly, land, and maybe talk a little bit, and then, like, I'm done. But today's a good one, I suppose. Let's try something new. Yeah, I just landed here. I'm chilling under a little bridge thing. The road is up, up there because it is insanely hot, so we need a bit of shade. But yeah, just some small things I noticed. So flying today started off really good. It was a, I would say it was a classic, classic portable flight. Not from getting reverb from this drain behind me. It's a classic portable flight, which is to say very consistent thermals they were quite strong um, flying up the ridge I did what I usually do which worked out quite well and you actually fly quite fast um, doing that so you might need to wash this lens a little bit here there you go and um, then yeah flying up the ridge just fly up the mountain and it will pick you up it does eventually I caught some really sick thermals off of that like four meters easy ones cruise through the inversion I was at like 1600 and 2k very quickly which was great fantastic um, and then I was hanging around quite a lot so I think what I should have maybe done would have been just to send it off to across made the jump when I was at bumpy I was at about 2k I should have just sent it and, and gone for it across to the back of Clan William although I think what I did was I carried on flying down the ridge and eventually got back to about the thousand or so to the top of the mountain but then I caught another nice thermal off of that Got to about 1500 and jumped at Cardusi and then it just flashed me but then I started using my lift every bit of lift I could get and that worked out and it was just flying up the flatlands easy lines as straight as I could in the direction that I wanted to go which is very efficient um, didn't waste a lot of time going around to the back mountains with the flats were working perfectly it was fine one thing I'll say is it was a rock and roll. It started from about just before constriction side. It started getting very rock and roll. Um, I was approaching a couple of white birds over there. And I noticed them all turning in the same direction left. So I joined them and I started turning left. And I found it very hard to turn left. Now I sometimes struggle with turning left. Right is definitely my better direction. But I can generally do left in a better, in a lighter lift. It's a bit easier to maintain that. But when, as soon as I turned right, I got uh, smashed a hardcore full frontal and I caught many collapses before that one in today's flights. Many, many collapses, I've caught them. But that one was just, poof, instant happened and it dropped about 10 meters, I would say. Fine, fix it, go and carry on trying to thermal it. So I was swimming to the left and then I switched to the right and as soon as I switched to the right, that happened and then carried on a bit more and more of that turbulent stuff back to the left hard to thermal but less turbulence so it's interesting what I think was happening over there um, was the thermals were spinning in a counterclockwise direction which means that thermaling to the left you would be going downwind and in going downwind one of the things that's 100% true of going downwind is when you try to turn you don't have as much energy as you do when you're going upwind you know which makes sense why it was harder to thermal and going upwind hence you are sinking a lot more um, because our gliders sink as we go into a headwind and I, I could just notice it when I was climbing less I could, on some of them I was drifting and I was thermaling and as I turned into the headwind still turning right so I was going headwind in the thermal and headwind on the southerly and I was actually going down and then I would turn back downwind and start going up again 
So it was like, which was super interesting. So it's definitely something to that. Today was a left day. Just looking for any wasps or anything over here. It doesn't look like it. Yeah, I'm safe. Today was definitely a left day to be turning your paraglider. And I've never experienced that before, but it was super interesting. But yeah, I followed that. I figured that out and I started following that. And my flight was a lot better after that. But yeah, still flying i think there was like some kind of like it was definitely weird inversions that were changing based on where you were because i think it's relative to the ground height so the inversions are moving up and down and that sort of thing but yeah and then as the thermals were hitting those inversions it was causing a lot of turbulence so being high today was quite scary which is why for the second part of the when i was coming past constriction yeah, i was trying to stay a bit lower to try and not get smashed into that inversion and bumped around and stuff like that um, but also I was a bit, you know, after about two and a half hours of flying in the hot sun, getting rocked around, it takes a big toll on your mindset as well. So I, was, I wanted to should have turned my music on a bit there and calmed myself down a bit, which is usually my strategy for long flights. But I didn't, it was quite bumpy and have a chance to <laughs> put the speaker on. I think it turned off um, after not using it for about an hour or so, so I would have had to unzip, put it on and then start playing music, which is about 20 seconds of your focus time. But yeah, man, really good flight, really interesting. Anything it shows, I should learn about how much effort these guys put in to make their 100k flights and even further flights. It's, it's not easy all the way. You have to work a hell of a lot harder than what I did today. Well, you have to do, it, do what I was doing for a long time, which at the end of the day is, you know, this, this, we here for fun. So that's everyone owns everyone's own prerogative to decide what fun their level of fun is and for me uh, I think it was maybe a 70k flight today but that's enough fun for me um, yeah it's just getting rocked around it's not exciting anymore you get over it so I'm happy with that it was a great flight we worked hard in these conditions I was very proud of my active flying ability and yeah here's my ride let me go and say how's it